Yesterday, she put the NATO spouses and royalty in the shade with two elegant outfits on a visit to Brussels. And today Melania Trump, 47, pulled off another style triumph as she joined her fellow G7 spouses in Catania, Italy, in a $51,000 floral coat by Dolce & Gabbana, which was covered with colorful 3D flower embellishments, and came complete with a matching $1,630 purse by the Italian luxury label. Aki Abe, the wife of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe also went for florals, but her pretty peplum dress couldn't compete with the First Lady's wow factor, as they gathered on the balcony of Chirichi Palace for a photo op with fellow spouses. Emanuela Moro, the wife of Italian Premier Paolo Gentiloni kept it casual in a white tunic top, and slim black trousers while Malgorzato Tusk, who is married to European Council President Donald Tusk, and Amanda Succi, partner of the mayor of Catania opted for red and blue shift dresses respectively. Elsewhere the new First Lady of France Brigitte Macron, 64, opted for a completely different look, dressing down in white skinny jeans, and a simple red jumper. While it may have been a simple look, she added a very subtle flash of skin by leaving the snap buttons on the shoulder undone. It was a sharp contrast to the 2,200 pounds black Louis Vuitton Menai dress she wore yesterday for a visit to the Madrid Museum with Melania and other spouses while their husbands had a private meeting before a NATO summit. Intriguingly, Mrs. Macron did not join her fellow G7 spouses today as they posed for a photo on the balcony of the Chirichi Palace, despite arriving at the venue with them. Also among the party were Angela Merkel's husband Joachim Sauer, who dressed for the heat in a casual blue linen blazer, and the mayor of Catania, Enzo Bianco. The G7 leader are in Sicily today to discuss topics like climate change, trade and migration at a summit of the group of seven wealthy democracies. The other G7 leaders are Shinzo Abe of Japan, Italy's Paolo Gentiloni, Donald Trump, Theresa May and Angela Merkel. It is a form made for Donald Trump's particular style. It is highly informal highly interactive and they speak in very colloquial language to each other," said John Curtin, director of the G7 Research Group at the University of Toronto. It is the ultimate lonely hearts club. No one understands how tough it is to have the top job except the peers with the top job in other countries. While Trump has met all of the leaders one-on-one, -on -one, this will be the first time all seven are around the same table. This includes also newcomers Emmanuel Macron of France, our own Prime Minister Theresa May and the Italian host, Paolo Gentiloni, forging a new dynamic after a year of global political turmoil amid rising nationalism. Later Mr. Trump and the First Lady with attend a G7 concert by La Scala Philharmonic Orchestra, and will join the other leaders and their partners for dinner.